bag, bag. This is a shadowing exercise. I will play for you in audio, then repeat it with opportunities for you to pause and repeat what you hear. Try to capture my same pronunciation, intonation, and stress patterns. All right, just this water bottle and bag of plates for you then. Your total comes to 350. Oh, look at that. Hershey's came out with a new dark chocolate bar. Double special dark, eh? Let me add that too. Okay, 475. Oh, sorry, we don't take cards under $5. Whoops, only have my debit card on me. Left my cash at home. Okay, how much for this pack of gum? You want the ooey gooey strawberry kind? You look a little old for that. It's for my kids? <sighs> Sign here, please. Thanks much. Alright, just this water bottle and bag of plates for you then. Your total comes to 350. Oh, look at that. Hershey's came out with a new dark chocolate bar. Double special dark, eh? Let me add that too. Okay, 475. Oh, sorry, we don't take cards under $5. Whoops, only have my debit card on me. Left my cash at home. Okay, how much for this pack of gum? You want the ooey gooey strawberry kind? You look a little old for that. It's for my kids? <sighs> Sign here, please. Thanks much. Oh, look at that. Hershey's came out with a new dark chocolate bar. Oh, look at that. Hershey's came out with a new dark chocolate bar. This is a shadowing exercise. I will read you a conversation, then give you a chance to hear it again with pauses so you can repeat everything you hear. Try to copy the pronunciation, stress, and intonation patterns. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know the flight got delayed. Again? Yeah, I know. That's the third time this week, man. What do you want me to do about it? The weather's been awful, and then there was some issue with the flight crew. What time you do in so I can let Dad know? Tell him around midnight. If it's later than that, I'll get an Uber. Or if it's real late, maybe we can all get breakfast at the airport. No thanks. I'm not planning on spending the night there. Watch the sunrise from baggage claim. I'll make it home tonight. Promise. Grab a suitcase and a croissant. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know the flight got delayed. Again? Yeah, I know. That's the third time this week, man. What do you want me to do about it? The weather's been awful, and then there was some issue with the flight crew. What time you do in so I can let Dad know? Tell him around midnight. If it's later than that, I'll get an Uber. Or if it's real late, maybe we can all get breakfast at the airport. No thanks. I'm not planning on spending the night there. Watch the sunrise from baggage claim. I'll make it home tonight, promise. Grab a suitcase and a croissant. All right, whatever, I'll, I'll see you tonight, bye. This is a shadowing exercise. I'll show you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses for you to repeat. When repeating, try to copy the pronunciation, intonation, and stress patterns. Do you happen to know where the restroom is? There's one right next to the entrance, to the right of the front desk. It's by the elevator. Can't miss it. 
Yeah, I tried that one, but it was out of service. It looked like maintenance was doing something to it. Is there another one? Hmm. Well, if you go to the third floor, you'll see a small lobby. There's another restroom there next to the water fountain. Thanks. Oh, is there a changing station there by chance? We'll probably need to change my son's diaper. Oh, I don't think so. If that's the case, you'll probably have to go to the basement. There'll be a cafeteria on the right, and the bathroom's on the left. If you see the parking garage, you've gone too far. Good luck. Do you happen to know where the restroom is? There's one right next to the entrance, to the right of the front desk. It's by the elevator. Can't miss it. Yeah, I tried that one, but it was out of service. Looked like maintenance was doing something to it. Is there another one? Hmm. Well, if you go to the third floor, you'll see a small lobby. There's another restroom there next to the water fountain. Thanks. Oh, is there a changing station there by chance? We'll probably need to change my son's diaper. Oh, uh, I don't think so. If that's the case, you'll probably have to go to the basement. There'll be a cafeteria on the right, and the bathroom's on the left. If you see the parking garage, you've gone too far. Good luck. Look. Look. This is a fluent American shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat what you hear. Try to copy the same pronunciation, intonation, and stress. Did you find everything you were looking for okay? Actually, I was trying to find a pair of sweatpants for my son, but it looks like you guys were out of stock. Well, there's actually a shipment that just came in this morning, but... But... Alright, meet me at the back of the store by the dumpsters. Don't let the camera see you. Knock three times on the shipment door and ask for Marty. Got it? Wait, what? I don't think... Listen, do you want the sweatpants or not? Okay, back of the store. Knock three times. Marty, watch out for cameras. See you in two minutes. Did you find everything you were looking for okay? Actually, I was trying to find a pair of sweatpants for my son, but it looks like you guys were out of stock. Well, there's actually a shipment that just came in this morning, but... But... Alright, meet me at the back of the store by the dumpsters. Don't let the camera see you. Knock three times on the shipment door and ask for Marty. Got it? Wait, what? I don't think... Listen, do you want the sweatpants or not? Okay, back of the store, knock three times. Marty, watch out for cameras. See you in two minutes. In this shadowing exercise, we're going to be taking a look at Matt versus Japan, playing pieces of the audio three times. What I recommend is listen to the original, then repeat what you hear, trying to copy the pronunciation, intonation, and stress. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today I have a really amazing guest on. Today I have a really amazing guest on. Today I have a really amazing guest on. The originator of the input hypothesis. The originator of the input hypothesis. The originator of the input hypothesis. Which is basically the most fundamental idea in all of um, my language learning techniques. Which is basically the most fundamental idea in all of um, my language learning techniques.
which is basically the most fundamental idea in all of um, my language learning techniques. So thanks so much for coming on today. It's a real honor. So thanks so much for coming on today. It's a real honor. So thanks so much for coming on today. It's a real honor. I think a good way to get started would be to just kind of have you summarize. I think a good way to get started would be to just kind of have you summarize. I think a good way to get started would be to just kind of have you summarize. What is your thesis? What is the, the kind of core contribution that you made to the language acquisition world? What is your thesis? What is the, the kind of core contribution that you made to the language acquisition world? What is your thesis? What is the, the kind of core contribution that you made to the language acquisition world? That little bit you just did brings up a lot of other questions I want to ask you. That little bit you just did brings up a lot of other questions I want to ask you. That little bit you just did brings up a lot of other questions I want to ask you. So when you discovered those other other people who were, had been talking about those things. So when you discovered those other other people who were, had been talking about those things. So when you discovered those other other people who were, had been talking about those things. Was that after you already had the insight about the two systems? Was that after you already had the insight about the two systems? Was that after you already had the insight about the two systems? Kind of sounds like just over time, there's been more and more evidence that shows that kind of sounds like just over time there's been more and more evidence that shows that kind of sounds like just over time there's been more and more evidence that shows that not only are these ideas true but perhaps even more pervasive than was originally thought tap tap this is a fluent American English pronunciation practice shadowing exercise with a conversation at a bar. You'll hear a full conversation, then it will be repeated with pauses so that way you can copy the intonation, pronunciation, and stress. What'll it be? She'll have a ginger sour. What you got on tap? Budweiser, PBR, Guinness, Great Lakes. You can see them all over there. A pint of Guinness is fine. All right. 13 even. You want to leave your tab open? Yeah, actually, better yet, let me close it. Here's my card. By the way, are, are you guys showing the game tonight on the big screen? The Cleveland game? We'll turn it on once all the pregame stuff gets out of the way. It's on out on the patio, too. Cool. Here's for the tip. Oh, my wife was wondering how much for around the pool. It's free on Tuesdays. Talk to Tracy over there by the jukebox. She's the one with the ponytail and the eagle tattoo on her shoulder. Uh, thanks, man. Take it easy. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. What'll it be? She'll have a ginger sour. What you got on tap? Budweiser, PBR, Guinness, Great Lakes. You can see them all over there. A pint of Guinness is fine. All right. 13 even. You want to leave your tab open? Yeah, actually, better yet, let me close it. Here's my card. By the way, are, are you guys showing the game tonight on the big screen? The Cleveland game? 
We'll turn it on once all the pregame stuff gets out of the way. It's on out on the patio, too. Cool. Here's for the tip. Oh, my wife was wondering how much for a round of pool. It's free on Tuesdays. Talk to Tracy over there by the jukebox. She's the one with the ponytail and the eagle tattoo on her shoulder. Uh, thanks, man. Take it easy. Be sure to check out all of our other shadowing videos as well. Quiet. Quiet. This is a fluent American English pronunciation shadowing exercise with SpongeBob SquarePants. I'll play for you a section of audio, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat. Try to copy the same pronunciation, intonation, and stress. <sighs> another day, another migraine. Well, at least I'll get a little peace and quiet before that little... Good morning, Squidward. And isn't it a lovely morning? Nope. Not talking to you. I'm especially not getting involved in any of your nonsense today. I always end up with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, Squidward. <sighs> but you should know that old Gertrude's getting pretty finicky these days. Old Gertrude? Who the kelp is that? You've worked with her for years! She's the eight burner grill in the kitchen! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <sighs> another day, another migraine. Well, at least I'll get a little peace and quiet before that little... Good morning, Squidward! And isn't it a lovely morning? Nope. Not talking to you. I'm especially not getting involved in any of your nonsense today. I always end up with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, Squidward. <sighs> but you should know that old Gertrude's getting pretty finicky these days. Old Gertrude? Who the kelp is that? You've worked with her for years! She's the eight burner grill in the kitchen! Cough. Cough. This is a fluent American English pronunciation shadowing exercise with Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn. I'll play you a section of movie dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat as well. Try to copy the intonation, pronunciation, and stress. You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. What? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. Here's the deal. We failed the mission. You die. You find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. No. If you cough without covering your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. Here's the deal. We failed the mission, you die. We Find out any information you give us is false, you die. 
If we find out you have personalized license plates, you don't. No. If you cough without covering your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. Bag. Bag. This is the Fluent American English Pronunciation's shadowing exercise. I'll read for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat what you hear. Try to copy my pronunciation, intonation, and stress. Did you get the milk this time? Yeah, yeah, I got it. It's funny because I almost forgot to and was just about to check out when I remembered. How about the butter? You didn't see it in the bag? Oh, here it is. Good. Alright, it looks like you got everything. Nice work, for once. Your backhanded compliments are always so sweet. I try. Alright, so grandma's recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt, a cup of flour, wait. What? This expired two weeks ago. It's not that long ago, it should be fine. You know how long this stuff sits on the shelf for? It was probably made in 2015 or something. Get out of here, look, it's fine. It smells like flour, tastes like... What? Yeah, throw that out. I'll go run and get a new bag. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Did you get the milk this time? Yeah, yeah, I got it. It's funny because I almost forgot to and was just about to check out when I remembered. How about the butter? You didn't see it in the bag? Oh, here it is. Good. Alright, it looks like you got everything. Nice work, for once. Your backhanded compliments are always so sweet. I try. Alright, so grandma's recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt, a cup of flour, wait. What? This expired two weeks ago. It's not that long ago, it should be fine. You know how long this stuff sits on the shelf for? It was probably made in 2015 or something. Get out of here. Look, it's fine. It smells like flour. Tastes like... What? Yeah, throw that out. I'll go run and get a new bag. Shut. Shut. This is a Fluent American shadowing exercise. I will play for you a conversation, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can practice copying my intonation, stress, and pronunciation. Long night last night. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. Yeah, my flight got in late and my mind kept racing about the meeting, so I couldn't get any shut eye. I probably slept like two hours. No worries. That snore fest of a meeting probably wasn't worth losing sleep over. I'm surprised you stayed awake through it. You look beat, man. Honestly, I could pass out right now if I didn't have to submit that report. Would coffee help? I'm brewing a fresh pot right now. There's plenty. I'm good. I'm trying to stay away from caffeine these days. Not even in emergencies, huh? Tell you what, I'll pour you a mug. And if you find yourself nodding off, you can take a sip. Sound fair? Fine, but I'd rather take a cat nap in the conference room as soon as that webinar is done. You and me both. Those chairs in there are so comfortable. I was thinking of buying one to replace my bed at home. I'd be sound asleep in a heartbeat. That's a good idea, actually. Anyways, let me finish up here. Sounds good. Sweet dreams. I mean... Happy staying awake. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Long night last night. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. Yeah, my flight got in late and my mind kept racing about the meeting, so I couldn't get any shut eye. I probably slept like two hours.
No worries. That snore fest of a meeting probably wasn't worth losing sleep over. I'm surprised you stayed awake through it. You look beat, man. Honestly, I could pass out right now if I didn't have to submit that report. Would coffee help? I'm brewing a fresh pot right now. There's plenty. I'm good. I'm trying to stay away from caffeine these days. Not even in emergencies, huh? Tell you what, I'll pour you a mug, and if you find yourself nodding off, you can take a sip. Sound fair? Fine, but I'd rather take a cat nap in the conference room as soon as that webinar is done. You and me both. Those chairs in there are so comfortable. I was thinking of buying one to replace my bed at home. I'd be sound asleep in a heartbeat. That's a good idea, actually. Anyways, let me finish up here. Sounds good. Sweet dreams. I mean, happy staying awake. This is First Page with Fluent American, where we do shadowing with the first pages of classic texts in English. I'll read the first page of a text, highlighting for you key places for stress, and then also have pauses so that way you can repeat after I read. Try to copy my same pronunciation, intonation, and stress. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, Just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. He didn't say any more. But we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments. A habit that has opened up many curious natures to me. And also made me the victim of not a few veteran bores. The abnormal mind is quick to detect and attach itself to this quality. when it appears in a normal person. And so it came about that in college, I was unjustly accused of being a politician because I was privy to the secret griefs of wild unknown men. Most of the confidences were unsought. Frequently I have feigned sleep, preoccupation or a hostile levity when I realized by some unmistakable sign that an intimate revelation was quivering on the horizon made made this is a shadowing exercise with fluent american 
I'll read for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat. Try to copy my same pronunciation, intonation, and stress. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. What you need? I'm trying to hang a shelf in my closet, but I can't find the right kind of brackets. Brackets? Aisle 5. Take care. Wait, but do you think they'll be able to hold 75 to 100 pounds worth of stuff? Get the heavy-duty ones if you're nervous. Okay, so sounds good. What about damaging the wall screwing them in? It's made of century-old plaster. I tried knocking a nail into it the other day and kept hearing a cracking sound. Either get some wall anchors or just don't do it. Any other suggestions? Move to another house. Have a garage sale to get rid of some things. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Hi, sir. I think we have something that could help you right over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. What you need? I'm trying to hang a shelf in my closet, but I can't find the right kind of brackets. Brackets? Aisle 5. Take care. Wait, but do you think they'll be able to hold 75 to 100 pounds worth of stuff? Get the heavy-duty ones if you're nervous. Okay, so sounds good. What about damaging the wall screwing them in? It's made of century-old plaster. I tried knocking a nail into it the other day and kept hearing a cracking sound. Either get some wall anchors or just don't do it. Any other suggestions? Move to another house. Have a garage sale to get rid of some things. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Hi, sir. I think we have something that could help you right over here. Put. Put. This is a shadowing exercise of Fluent American. I'll play for you a conversation between two people, then again with pauses so that way you can try to repeat. Try to capture my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. Did you see the ball drop last night? No, I missed it. Honestly, I was probably out by 10 o'clock. Slept through it, huh? Long week? You can't even imagine. I've been doing 12-hour days at the office since the spring. You can imagine what I do on my days off. I'm guessing something that rhymes with deep. Bingo. My bed sees me more than anyone else does these days. Hopefully I can change that soon, though. What about you? Any resolutions for the new year? I'm going to try to lay off the sweets and alcohol, I think. I've definitely put on a few more pounds than I intended to recently. Doesn't help that you live next door to that bakery. Man, have you tried their new lemon tarts? They do this thing with the crust. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's got the right amount of crunch, but it still melts in your mouth. It's so good. I can die from exhaustion, and you can die from diabetes. Sound fair? Did you see the ball drop last night? No, I missed it. Honestly, I was probably out by 10 o'clock. Slept through it, huh? Long week? You can't even imagine. I've been doing 12-hour days at the office since the spring. You can imagine what I do on my days off. I'm guessing something that rhymes with deep. Bingo. My bed sees me more than anyone else does these days. Hopefully I can change that soon, though. What about you? Any resolutions for the new year?
I'm going to try to lay off the sweets and alcohol, I think. I've definitely put on a few more pounds than I intended to recently. Doesn't help that you live next door to that bakery. Man, have you tried their new lemon tarts? They do this thing with the crust. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's got the right amount of crunch. But it still melts in your mouth. It's so good. I can die from exhaustion and you can die from diabetes. Sound fair? Deep. Deep. This is a fluent American shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat what you hear. Try to copy my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. Next. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Hi, I'd like to return this for my wife. She didn't give me a receipt, but we did find this tag in the trash, though. Okay, do you remember the date of purchase? It must have been last Sunday, the 14th. Probably around 2-ish in the afternoon. Alright, now, sir, we recently changed our return policy. I can't give you cash back anymore, but you do receive store credit equal to the amount you purchased. Actually, is this a stain on the collar, sir? Well, yeah, it looks like it. Must have been the pasta we had for lunch that day. And it looks like someone spilled fruit punch right here by the hem. <laughs> Kids, am I right? Not to mention, this smells like it was sitting next to a deep fryer at McDonald's. We've got to pay the bills. Why would you wear a gown like this to work at a fast food joint? Sir, you're, you're going to have to take this back. Next. Next. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Hi, I'd like to return this for my wife. She didn't give me a receipt, but we did find this tag in the trash, though. Okay, do you remember the date of purchase? It must have been last Sunday, the 14th, probably around 2-ish in the afternoon. Alright, now, sir, we recently changed our return policy. I can't give you cash back anymore, but you do receive store credit equal to the amount you purchased. Actually, is this a stain on the collar, sir? Well, yeah, it looks like it. Must have been the pasta we had for lunch that day. And it looks like someone spilled fruit punch right here by the hem. <laughs> Kids, am I right? Not to mention, this smells like it was sitting next to a deep fryer at McDonald's. We've got to pay the bills. Why would you wear a gown like this to work at a fast food joint? Sir, you're, you're going to have to take this back. Next. Wait. Wait. This is a fluent American English pronunciation shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can also repeat what you hear. Try to copy my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. Did you warm up on the treadmill like I asked you to? Yep, ran a quarter mile to get the blood circulating nice and good. All right, so today we're gonna to start off with some squats and push-ups before you hit the weights. Roger that. Push-ups kill my wrists. Mind if I grab some dumbbells to hold while I do them? Go for it. I'll be over by the mirror and bench press. Oh, could you grab me a towel while you're at it and one of those spray bottles to wipe the equipment down with? Not a problem. Oh, it looks like they're out of towels. I'll check at the desk to see if they have more in the back or something. Worst comes to worst, I may have an extra one in my bag we can use. 
You'd think they'd have enough, though. All right, let's get started with those push-ups. 30 on my mark. Set. Go. Wait, 30? Whatever happened to starting slow and working our way up? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Did you warm up on the treadmill like I asked you to? Yep, ran a quarter mile to get the blood circulating nice and good. Alright, so today we're going to start off with some squats and push-ups before we hit the weights. Roger that. Push-ups kill my wrists. Mind if I grab some dumbbells to hold while I do them? Go for it. I'll be over by the mirror and bench press. Oh, could you grab me a towel while you're at it and one of those spray bottles to wipe the equipment down with? Not a problem. Oh, it looks like they're out of towels. I'll check at the desk to see if they have more in the back or something. Worst comes to worst, I may have an extra one in my bag we can use. You'd think they'd have enough, though. All right, let's get started with those push-ups. 30 on my mark. Set. Go. Wait, 30? Whatever happened to starting slow and working our way up? Pack. Pack. This is a shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a conversation, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat what you hear. Try to copy my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. The captain has removed the fasten seatbelt sign. You are now free to move about the cabin. Something to drink? Actually, yeah, do you guys have cranberry juice or sparkling water? Sir, we offer both. Which would you like? One of each. Uh, juice is for my wife for when she wakes up. She's lucky. As soon as the plane takes off, she's out like a log. Our pilot's the same way. Always have to knock on the cockpit door just to make sure he's up. Oh, that's not very reassuring. No need to worry. Nine times out of ten, he's alert. What about the other time? Here are the drinks. Enjoy the flight. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. The captain has removed the fastened seatbelt sign. You are now free to move about the cabin. Something to drink? Actually, yeah, do you guys have cranberry juice or sparkling water? Sir, we offer both. Which would you like? One of each. Uh, juice is for my wife for when she wakes up. She's lucky. As soon as the plane takes off, she's out like a log. Our pilot's the same way. Always have to knock on the, the cockpit door just to make sure he's up. Oh, that's not very reassuring. No need to worry. Nine times out of ten, he's alert. What about the other time? Here are the drinks. Enjoy the flight. Trade. Trade. This is a fluent American English pronunciation shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a dialogue. Then, repeat it with pauses so that way you can also repeat what you hear. 
try to copy my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. Looks like they got your fender pretty good there. You said it was a hit and run? Yeah, I was just at the stoplight there about to turn right when I felt a tap. It didn't feel like much at the time, but when I got out to check, I noticed he did more than just trade some paint, you know? Of course he sped off before I could catch his license plate. Maybe someone else saw. Did you notice any witnesses around? Of course not. Now that would have been too convenient, right? It's a shame, too. My lease is up tomorrow, and I just got in the car washed and waxed and... Well, that's what insurance is for. I hope. We'll have to see what your policy says. Looks like they got your fender pretty good there. You said it was a hit and run? Yeah, I was just at the stoplight there about to turn right when I felt a tap. It didn't feel like much at the time, but when I got out to check, I noticed he did more than just trade some paint, you know? Of course, he sped off before I could catch his license plate. Maybe someone else saw. Did you notice any witnesses around? Of course not. Now that would have been too convenient, right? It's a shame, too. My lease is up tomorrow, and I just got in the car washed and waxed and... Well, that's what insurance is for. I hope. We'll have to see what your policy says. Leak. Leak. This is a fluent American English pronunciation shadowing exercise. I'll play for you a talk, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can also repeat what you hear. Try to copy my same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. Let's see what mom wanted me to clean. Hmm, wash the dishes soaking in the sink, then fix the leak. Hmm, I'll have to find a wrench for that. What else? Take out the trash and put it by the curb for the garbage men. Sweep the floors. All right, so where'd she put the broom? Not in the closet. Spike, do you know where it is? Yeah, me neither, boy. Maybe it's downstairs in the basement. That place is like a black hole. Everything gets sucked down there. Brooms, missing socks, my soul, everything. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's see what mom wanted me to clean. Hmm, wash the dishes soaking in the sink. Then fix the leak. Hmm, I'll have to find a wrench for that. What else? Take out the trash and put it by the curb for the garbage men. Sweep the floors. All right, so where'd she put the broom? Not in the closet. Spike, do you know where it is? Yeah, me neither, boy. Maybe it's downstairs in the basement. That place is like a black hole. Everything gets sucked down there. Brooms, missing socks, my soul. Everything. When, when. This is Fluent American's business English shadowing exercise. I'll read for you a dialogue related to a sexual harassment training. Then I'll repeat it with opportunities for you to repeat what you hear with pauses. Try to capture the same intonation, pronunciation, and stress. So now that we've gone through the training, let's take a look at some hypothetical examples. Here's our first one. I want you to decide if this is sexual harassment or not. Denise and Joe are colleagues. Denise is a new transfer. Once, when no one's around, Joe finds Denise in her cubicle and they start chatting. He mentions that last night he went to the strip club. Joe ends the conversation by telling Denise he's happy someone attractive has finally joined the team. Denise feels very offended. Now, in this case, did Joe harass Denise? Definitely under our policy. Joe made derogatory comments about members of his team. Then his talk about strip clubs is not appropriate for the workplace. He would be told to stop such behavior 
though for legal action to occur or an oral warning, it would probably need to be repeated several times. Regardless, this is definitely a behavior that is not acceptable here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So now that we've gone through the training, let's take a look at some hypothetical examples. Here's our first one. I want you to decide if this is sexual harassment or not. Denise and Joe are colleagues. Denise is a new transfer. Once, when no one's around, Joe finds Denise in her cubicle and they start chatting. He mentions that last night he went to the strip club. Joe ends the conversation by telling Denise he's happy someone attractive has finally joined the team. Denise feels very offended. Now in this case, did Joe harass Denise? Definitely under our policy. Joe made derogatory comments about members of his team. Then his talk about strip clubs is not appropriate for the workplace. He would be told to stop such behavior Though, for legal action to occur or an oral warning, it would probably need to be repeated several times. Regardless, this is definitely a behavior that is not acceptable here. Time. Time. This is a shadowing exercise. I will play for you a conversation then play it again with opportunities for you to repeat with pauses. Be sure to copy the same intonation, pronunciation, and stress patterns that I use. Dad, Jimmy won't let me get on the computer downstairs and I need it for my homework. That's not true. You just want to play Flight Simulator for a third time today. No, I was waiting for Mrs. Steele to email me. I can't do anything until she gets back to me with the login. Hold on, hold on. Now boys. Did you really just say you downloaded that flight simulator game? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I imagine it is. Let me go do some investigating. Wait, Dad, I, I have homework. No, Dad, stop playing. I need the computer. Dad? Dad, Jimmy won't let me get on the computer downstairs, and I need it for my homework. That's not true. You just want to play Flight Simulator for a third time today. No, I was waiting for Mrs. Steele to email me. I can't do anything until she gets back to me with the login. Hold on, hold on. Now, boys, did you really just say you downloaded that Flight Simulator game? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I imagine it is. Let me go do some investigating. Wait, Dad, I, I have homework. No, Dad, stop playing. I need the computer. Dad? Let me go do some investigating. Let me go do some investigating. This is a shadowing exercise. I will play for you an audio, then repeat it with pauses for you to try to repeat what you hear. Try to copy the same pronunciation, intonation, and stress patterns. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. This is Stan with Woe Internet. Can I get your last name and date of birth, please? Jones 9386. Thank you, Mr. Jones. What well, seems to be the trouble today? Yeah, we've been having intermittent service since Tuesday. It'll be fine for a while, but it seems like every time I try to get some work done, the connection drops again. I've already tried restarting the modem, even switched out the router, but 
Nothing doing. Well, we're sorry to hear about your inconvenience. There are no reported outages in your area. Um, you are correct. Your upload speed is coming in very low. I, I think we'll have to send a tech out. Would this afternoon work for you? This call may be monitored for quality assurance. This is Stan with Woe Internet. Can I get your last name and date of birth, please? Jones 9386. Thank you, Mr. Jones. What seems to be the trouble today? Yeah, we've been having intermittent service since Tuesday. It'll be fine for a while, but it seems like every time I try to get some work done, the connection drops again. I've already tried restarting the modem, even switched out the router, but nothing doing. Well, we're sorry to hear about your inconvenience. There are no reported outages in your area. Um, you are correct. Your upload speed is coming in very low. I, I think we'll have to send a tech out. Would this afternoon work for you? Tried. Tried. Would this afternoon work for you? Would this afternoon work for you? This is a shadowing exercise. I will play for you a dialogue, then repeat it with pauses so that way you can repeat. Try to capture the same pronunciation, intonation, and stress patterns that I use. Now you have a great eye, sir. She just came to our lot this morning. Oh yeah, what's the mileage? I was hoping for something under 50,000. You're in luck. She's just under 35. It'll be hard to find a 2017 with fewer miles. You wouldn't happen to have one that's blue, would you? Red isn't really my style. Sorry to say we don't, but if you're looking for a blue coupe, we might have a Honda or a Nissan you like. Really? What would be the damage on the Nissan? The sticker price is 25000 but I'll tell you what. If you stop by the office, we might be able to work something out. Now you have a great eye, sir. She just came to our lot this morning. Oh yeah, what's the mileage? I was hoping for something under 50,000. You're in luck. She's just under 35. It'll be hard to find a 2017 with fewer miles. You wouldn't happen to have one that's blue, would you? Red isn't really my style. Sorry to say we don't, but if you're looking for a blue coupe, we might have a Honda or a Nissan you like. Really? What would be the damage on the Nissan? The sticker price is 25000 but I'll tell you what, if you stop by the office, we might be able to work something out. 